gross. <laughs> no, 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 don't eat it. Oh, no, 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 don't eat it. Are you excited? Oh, so funny. Almost slipped over. <laughs> no, it's okay. Want you to go to the gym? I think he definitely knows that something's up. Something is happening today. This is me and today we actually have some visitors coming to the yard which is very unusual. We're actually having all of the horses and donkeys assessed. So before we do that we actually need to get everything set up and ready for them coming. So we need to muck out all of the stables, give them new shavings. But one of the most important things that I need to do today before they come is actually get the donkey stable ready because the donkey stable currently has been used kind of as like a storage. So it's got hay in there, it's got shavings, bales, haylage, hay nets. So the donkeys actually can't get in there at the moment. So I need to give that a bit of a clean out. So let me come and show you the state of it at the moment. It's definitely not looking like a stable, so we really need to do some cleaning out in here. So the donkey stable is now emptied, it's all tidied up. Now I just need to sweep away any little bits of hay and things and put down a nice new bed of shavings. Okay, so now we have a storage room that's been reconverted back into the donkey's stable temporarily just while they come up here and they get assessed and everything. So put down some new shavings, give them some water, put up some hay nets later as well so it's all nice and cosy and lovely for them so they can come in later. I actually need to go and get them in a few seconds but first I'm actually going to quickly muck out Casper and Mickey's stable and then give it a little bit of a sweep up, put in some new shavings and get all that ready as well. Alright, so now all the stables are nice and clean, it's time to go up to the donkeys and grab them from their paddock. So we usually have them kept separately to the horses now, just because Willow does a lot better because um, she can't really keep up with Mickey and Casper. She has a slower and easier life in a smaller field with just Bruno and Toby and they all get along with the three of them really well. Um, obviously they have their own stable which is over in their paddock, but because um, what we're going to be filming today, which is very exciting. I just thought it would be easier to have all of the equines in one place. Also over here at the main kind of stables, we have the concrete ground, so that'll be useful as well today. So let's go and get the donkeys. Come on, boys. Come on, Willow. <laughs> going to your old stable, guys. Are you excited? Oh, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Almost slipped over. Bruno. Well, it's funny that Toby's taking the lead today. Usually when I lead them, Bruno is always at the front. I'm having to like drag Toby behind, but Toby seems quite excited to be going back. 
Hey, come on boys. Oh, we've kind of left Willow behind. I'll go and grab her in a sec. Come on. Here we come, one at a time. There we go. Hey, do you remember this place, guys? Let's pop you in here. So I just grabbed Willow's lead rope now. I'm just gonna go and get her. Because of her arthritis, she's a lot slower compared to Bruno and Toby. So that's why I lead Bruno and Toby together. Also because of their separation anxiety, they do not like to be separated. Uh, so I'm gonna go and grab her now. I kind of let her calm down at her own pace. Don't push her too much just because she's a little bit stiff and struggles a little bit more. So let's go and get her. Oh, good girly. I actually need to change this. <laughs> okay everybody, I've now just moved the donkeys up to their old stable. They've had a little sniffle around and explore. So the next thing I need to do is actually put Mickey and Casper in their stables, get them groomed off and ready. And I also need to sweep the yard as well and clean out their water buckets and feed buckets from this morning. And I might also switch up Willow's hair color because I actually laid her down in her old one. So, you know, as we're having visitors, might as well put her fancy new one on as well. Cool, just quickly. Okay, so Casper is very clever and he's come up to see what I'm doing. I think he definitely knows that something's up, something is happening today. Because usually when I'm mucking out here um, and I have the gate shut, like he's just down the bottom having some grass, you know, isn't too bothered about what I'm doing. But I think because the donkeys have come up and everything, he's like, wait a second, <laughs> what's happening here? Now he might look nice and clean on this side of his head as well, but if I turn him round, he is just covered in poo and shavings and just, yep, this guy needs a wash. <laughs> all right, so the yard has been swept, the stables are clean, we've got all of the equines in and I'm gonna finally tell you who is coming to visit the yard. So we actually have Bailey's horse feeds. They're coming to assess all of the horses and donkeys. So they're gonna be weighed, they're gonna be measured, and they're basically gonna be assessed and they're gonna talk about what I should be feeding them. Um, so I'm not too worried about Casper or the donkeys, but there is one equine in particular that I'm a little bit more concerned about because this guy here definitely has a bit of an appetite. He probably is a little bit on the um, chubby side, <laughs> so mix. Let's see what they're gonna say to you. Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay, so let's go meet the horses. <laughs> so over here we have Mickey. He is 20 going on 21 and he's retired now and he also has Cushing's. And then okay. over here we have Casper who is 13 going on 14 and he's in kind of medium to high to low work. It kind of really depends because <laughs> when I'm busy traveling and working at shows and things, he, his work sort of does vary quite a bit. Yeah. But um, well, he's kind of in medium to full work now. I've been kind of back from traveling and things. Yeah. And while I am away, I've got friends that help ride oh, him, which handy. is brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> And then over here, in the end stable, we actually have the donkeys, so we've got three of them. Um, they are 25, 26 and 27. Okay. Um, so, although that does sound quite old being donkeys, <laughs> they're probably not as old as you'd think mm. they are, because they can live for quite a long time. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, having a little walk around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a little bit more kind of nervous with new people, yeah, so they'll probably just have a little sniff around and say hello. 
Okay, everybody, I am now here with Katie from Bailey's Horse Feeds, and she is a nutrition advisor. So, Katie, what are we going to be getting up to today? Okay, so today um, we're going to have a little look at the horses that you've got, yep. um, discuss possible diets for them mm -hmm. as well. We've also got a, a portable weigh bridge with us. Oh, wow! So, we can pop them on it, see what they make of that, and just find out how much they weigh. Um, we've also got a weigh tape so we can compare it um, to the weigh bridge, so it's something that you can use yes. going <laughs> forwards with them, nice. um, and also look at their overall body condition as well just to sort of see whether they're you know if they're holding their weight perhaps a little bit yes. too well or not not well enough or if they're about right and uh, and go from there oh amazing So what do we have here? <laughs> okay, so this is a, a portable weigh bridge. Um, basically the horses will just walk on um, mm -hmm. and then we've got a little handheld uh, device here which then tells oh, us how much, how much they weigh. So nice and easy. <laughs> I'll test it out. You can test it out. Do you want to have a hold it and see? Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm, nice, okay. <laughs> want you to go to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fine. It's after Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Mick. Good boy. Oh. oh. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll it does take again. them a little while to get used to it sometimes. Maybe if I walk on with him. Yeah. Oh, you're getting excited, mate. Come on. Well, you can have, let him have a little sniff. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Aww. Good boy. He's like, what is this fake grass? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 don't eat it. <laughs> All right, so I think I was very optimistic, thinking that Mickey would be the easiest pony to get on, when in fact he was the complete opposite. We had to walk him around so many times to get him standing still on the way bridge. Kind of what happened was he would get a few feet on and then his back legs just wouldn't line up. He wouldn't be standing straight. And then we'd try again and what would happen is he would just continue walking way too much and wouldn't stand still on it. He'd just walk all the way across. <laughs> But then at the end, Good we boy. finally Good managed boy. to get him on and we managed Good to get boy. his weight. Okay, hey. So he is 343 kilos. Oh, nice. I was thinking maybe 350, so he's yeah, a little bit less. Good boy. Good, Good boy. Good hey. boy. There we go. Not hard. Uh, Does it smell nice? I'll drop that down quick. <laughs> <laughs> cool. A bit more. Got your fronts on. Oh, one more. One more. One more step. Come on. <laughs> no. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Oh. Is that okay? okay? Yeah, I mean, I was way out. <laughs> 535. Oh. <laughs> Good, <Fat> boy. Boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. 138. There we go. Woo, got it. <laughs> Good boy. It's okay, your friend's back. Quick. Uh, okay, 136. Woo. So cute. <laughs> Off you go. Oh, good boy. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, sure. Good girl. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 127. Oh, brilliant! You did it first time! Good, Good girl. girl! There we go, you are nice and easy. <laughs> the lady. So today, Casper weighs 535 kilograms, which is a little bit more than we were expecting. I think it's because I've been away, I've been away at shows, travelling, that kind of thing, so he's not been ridden as much as I would like. And I have actually been, because he's been back in work, I've been feeding him more because I just feel like he doesn't have the energy. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think we're, we're gonna condition score him now. Yeah, just have a look so. at his overall, overall yeah. body condition where he's perhaps carrying the fat. Yes. Um, and I've also got a weight tape with me as oh, well. Brilliant. So we can have a little look and just 
see how it compares to the yes. weight on the weigh bridge so that then if you, I'll leave this with you, yes. so that then if you're weigh taping him on a regular basis, yeah. if it is a little bit different to the weigh, weigh bridge today, yeah. then we'll know kind of what the rough difference yes. is there. Great, thank you. So okay. should we get him out then? Yeah, brilliant. Let's go, Casp. Come on. <laughs> so when we're um, using a weight tape for the first time, we just like to go really nice and slowly because yes. some horses do get a little bit, um, little bit funny about it. So just place it over really nice and slowly. He doesn't seem too bothered. No. <laughs> slowly unwind it. Good boy. There we go. So you want it to go just at the base of their withers. Yeah. Um, and then if you reach around slowly, he is not bothered at all. No. So that's good. <laughs> um, you want to make sure they're standing on a, a level surface yeah. as well, which is great that you've got here. Um, and that their feet, their front feet are sort of roughly square as well. Yeah. So we're going to pull the, have it just behind their, behind their front legs and pull it fairly, fairly tight. Um, and we're going to look for where the arrow is. So on this way tape, there's a few different measurements. Yeah. Um, so the top one, um, you've got the, the sort of distance in centimetres. Yeah. Um, so he's about 191 centimetres around mm -hmm. his girth. Yeah. Um, then we've got a weight in pounds. And then the one that we mainly look at is the weight in kilos yeah. um, nowadays. So um, for him, he's breathing, breathing a bit. You'll see yeah. it's quite good to leave it there just for a few yes, seconds. He's definitely so a horse that likes to puff his tummy out and do the dirt, out. So. <laughs> Yeah, so just let him sort of settle. Um, kind of once he's exhaled, then we can take the reading. Mm -hmm. So minute oh there we go <laughs> okay, i think he's averaging around about 504 kilos okay. on the weigh tape so he's he's a fair bit lighter yeah. on the tape than he was on the bridge yes. um this is because it can the round the tape only takes that measurement into yes. account it doesn't take into account no. you know his neck or his bottom um but it's quite <laughs> weigh tapes can be quite good just as a way of yeah. measuring like, monitoring change things. exactly yeah. so if you, I mean, today we roughly know it's yeah. you know, about sort of 30 kilos or so out. Um, and then you, yeah, it's just when you're keeping a track of it, you can see if he's kind of gaining or losing then. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> okay, so we've done the weigh bridge, we've yes. done the weigh tape, um, but all those have really given us is a number. Yeah. They haven't actually told us whether he's underweight or mm -hmm. overweight or about right. So what we can use alongside um, the weigh bridge <laughs> and the weigh tape is something called body condition scoring. Yep. Okay, so this is, a more objective way of actually measuring how much fat or how little fat they're, they're sort of carrying and whereabouts they're, they're carrying. Yeah. Um, we use a score, a uh, scoring system, so between one and nine. Mm -hmm. So one would represent an emaciated, very, yeah. very skinny horse, uh, and nine would represent a very, very obese horse. Yes. <laughs> We're aiming really for a score of about five, okay. which is in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So there's different areas that we look at mm -hmm. um, to help us be even more objective about the yes. process we kind of try and look at the areas a bit more individually. Yeah. So um, starting off, the, the first place to start is to be the neck. Yeah. Okay, so what we're really feeling for up here um, is along the top of the crest to see if there's any kind of build up of fat over there. Yeah. Um, that's a very, very common area, particularly in your native breeds. Yes, yeah. so um, him being a Connemara. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quite a typical, typical place that fat is likely to build up. Sorry. <laughs> um, so what we sort of feel uh, kind of almost get your hand either side yeah. and have a feel to it. He's like, I'm going to feel your <laughs> neck. <laughs> you feel in my neck as well. Um, we're feeling for any kind of yeah. sponginess, bumpiness of fat. Um, you can also give it a good squeeze, mm -hmm. see, how, see how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> good boy. So he has, there's a little bit more yes. there than we'd like. Yeah. Um, I think that's possibly an area just to kind of keep a, keep a bit of a track on. Yeah. Um, you can, just to kind of measure, help monitor his, mm -hmm. um, the fat over his neck you could look at using the weigh tape and yeah. look at the centimeter function yeah. um, and place that around around the oh, widest part yeah. of his neck and then you, it would just be quite a good way to monitor yeah. you know whether he's how, how he's sort of doing really um, over that area mm -hmm. okay um, so after we felt the neck the next place that we'd feel down is over the shoulder okay so again this is a really really common area that fat deposits yeah. are likely to build up so we want it to cut the neck to kind of just blend nice and smoothly yeah. into the shoulder. And um, if I run my hand down here, I can feel there's kind of a little bulge, bulge, bulge yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> and if we get our fingers in there, it really yeah. does feel quite quite spongy. So again, it's a it's a very very common yeah. common place for it to build up, but it is something that's really important to keep keep an eye on. Yes. Okay. 
Um, the next area that we'd look at um, would be middle section, yes. so over the ribs, okay? Um, ideally, quite a good guideline is that we want to be able to feel the ribs, yeah. but not see them. Yes. Um, obviously, in the winter months, if they're a little bit more hairy, yeah. it does make things a little bit more, more complicated, but we still want to be able to feel them yeah. fairly easily without having to push too hard. Mm -hmm. So you want to sort of feel roughly in the middle, have a little feel around. If you have, there's quite a quite a coverage over yeah. his ribs. So do you have to press quite Definitely. hard? Yeah. Yeah, so that's some, another area just to keep an eye on for yes. him. Okay. Um, then the last section, if we come round, if he's okay with us standing yeah, behind he's him. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next bit that we want to look at uh, is over the hindquarters. Yes. Okay. So quite a good um, thing to look out for here if you're not sure. Yeah. Um, is to kind of look at the shape across yep. the top here. So if I come round here kind of the shape that you're looking for over the top if you were oh, stood okay. directly yeah. behind. Okay, so what we're aiming for really would be a nice kind of sideways C shape yeah. over the top. What we don't want um, is a kind of an M yeah. with a dip in the middle or sort of your apple bottom. Yeah. That would indicate they're a little bit on the heavy side. Yeah. Um, and we also um, just need to sort of an upside down V shape as well yes. would indicate they're perhaps a little bit thin. Um, yeah. I mean, that's a very basic yes. guideline, but it's something that's really easy to look out for yeah. just when you're grooming or tacking up or something. Yes. Just have a little look, see what shape you've got there. I mean, um, actually for him, we have got a really nice, nice C shape. So sideways C. Yes. So I think <laughs> over his hindquarters is not too bad. Um, we have a little, little feel as well, mm -hmm. just obviously being careful of his yeah. back legs. Um, you know, it doesn't feel too spongy, it's nice and firm, so he does have some um, some good for the muscle development yes. over here. It's not it's not just sort of purely fat over his yeah. tail head. So he's he's not too bad at all over so his bottom. So his butt's fine, but it's more it's sort more of neck <laughs> yeah. and over his ribs exactly. that we need to work on. <laughs> yeah. Um, going back to our one to nine system. Yes. He's not, I mean, he is on the heavier side, yes. so we're not quite a five today. <laughs> no. Um, but we're not, you know, he's not obese by any stretch. No. So I would probably put him at the moment sort of somewhere between just over a six, maybe a six and a half. Yeah. Okay, so we've got so, a little bit to work got, on, yes. but um, it's a good time of year to be working on that yes, over the winter definitely. months. There's not as much grass, so no. um, yeah, something just to kind of keep an eye on um, going forwards. Brilliant. Okay, <laughs> okay Mickey, oh, it's your turn sure. now. Um, so on the way tape, um, he's reading as 356 kilos. Yeah. So just slightly more than yeah. on the weigh bridge. Mm -hmm. um, in comparison to Casper, who was a little bit less on the weigh yes. tape. Um, so this again just gives you a bit of a guideline as to where yeah. you're working at if you're if you're weigh taping um, them in the future. Okay. Good boy. Oh, Very chilled good about man. that whole thing. Yeah. Good boy. Same again. Yeah, with Mickey. Flip his we'll mane flip over. His mane over. It's a very long mane. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start off um, feeling along the top here. Yeah. Now he's an older pony. And he's yes. got cushings as yes. well. So again, it's very, very typical for um, a bit more of a crest to build up. You yeah. can probably feel the difference. Yeah. Here for it's Casper, a bit wobbly. It's a bit and... Wobbly. Yeah. It's a little bit sort of bumpier, bit spongier patches going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, coming down here over over the shoulder. Yeah. Actually, we haven't got quite as much no. as a, a, yep. of a um, sponginess as with. Oh, he's gone on a mission. As with Casper. <laughs> um, over the ribs, I mean, having a little feel over yeah. here, you can actually feel them much Yeah, much, it feels good. Yeah, you don't have to press too hard. No. He's obviously got a bit of a hairy coat at the moment. Yes, yeah, very fluffy. But, <laughs> but it's not, it's nowhere near as, as sort of well covered um, yes. as, uh, Casper. as Casper's was. Okay, uh, good boy. And then if we come round uh, to the hindquarters here. So, I mean, we've got, if you duck down a little bit, we've mm -hmm. almost got ever such a slight, um, can you see, there's, it almost yeah. slightly starts to go down in the middle, but yes. generally it's still our kind of sideways yes. C shape. Um, we can have a little feel over here as well. A little bit spongier, but not, yeah, not too bad. Um, now Mickey's a bit of a, tricky one because he's to sort of give him an exact yes. score because he's got a lot in his neck yes but then that doesn't really average out with the rest no. of his body where he's not quite as you know quite as well covered um neck alone i'd probably you know probably be looking at uh, sort of close to a seven yeah but then the rest of his body 
own probably only sort of five and a half. So yeah. I think we'll leave it as two separate scores yes. for you. Because I do, we, it's really impossible to be honest to sort of average it, average yeah. it out. It wouldn't give a fair, a fair guide. But it's you, again, you can use the weight tape to yeah. measure around his neck um, in centimeters, mm -hmm. and it's just the little areas to kind of keep a bit yes. of an eye on see how they feel and um, also taking regular photos as well yes. sort of from the side from behind as we yep. all the areas we've looked at today mm -hmm. and you can then look back and see yes. how they how they sort of compare because it's much harder when you're seeing yeah. them every day isn't it <laughs> to sort of notice the changes yes. but yeah oh, great <laughs> So something I actually found really interesting today is that before you came here, I was saying, okay, Mickey's probably going to be the one that needs to lose a few pounds. There's a little bit more on the chubbier side when in fact, he, okay, he probably does need to lose a little bit of weight, but it's actually Casper, who I thought was all right, who's the one that needs to lose a few more pounds than Mickey. So um, I think that might be also because I see my horses every single day and you mm. don't really realise if they're gaining weight or if they're losing yeah. weight. Do you find people have that quite a bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, as you say, you see your horse every single day, yes. you know, <laughs> twice a day or whatever. So it's really, really hard to, to notice. Um, so it can be quite useful. Um, for me being so objective because I haven't yes. seen them before so to kind of look at it with a kind of fresh fresh pair of eyes it can be be quite helpful. Oh well thank but... you so much for coming. No, so no what problem. would you recommend me feeding Mickey and Casper? Um, so one of the main things that we need to make sure that we're doing is giving them all the vitamins, minerals and good yes. quality protein that they need. Um, quite a nice option for them both might actually be to use a balancer. Okay. Okay so balancers are very very nutrient dense yeah. so this means you don't need to feed huge quantities. Yeah. Um, but you can still make sure they're getting all the, the nutrients that they need for their coat condition, yeah. hoof health and muscle tone and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, I think that might be a quite a good place to oh, start. Oh, brilliant. Should we go and look at some then? Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. Okay, so we spoke uh, earlier about using a balancer for yes. both of the ponies. Um, this is the one from Bailey's that I think would be the most suitable. Yes. So it's the number 14 uh, locale balancer. So. As the name suggests, very low in calories, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but it's very, very nutrient dense. So mm -hmm. it will give them all the vitamins, minerals, good quality protein that they oh, need. Great. Um, and this means you don't need to feed a huge amount of it as well. Oh, that's amazing. Very small quantities, yeah. which makes it really good for the good doers. Yeah. Um, it's also very, very low starch and low sugar as well. So really good horses like Mickey who yes. suffer from Cushing's and he's had laminitis in the past. So yeah. it's a really nice option. That'd be really good. <laughs> nice option for him as well. Um, quantity wise we use these little measuring mugs so you've got one as well yes. <laughs> um, so this is a really good nice and easy way to mm -hmm. measure it out um, so for Mickey for him uh, one and a half of these okay. per yeah. day okay um, and then for Casper he would need two and a half per okay. day okay so yeah. really nice and easy to measure out yes. you can do that in one feed and mm -hmm. just feed in the morning that's yeah. absolutely fine um, and the small quantities mean they're able to digest it nice yeah. and easily so that's not a problem oh great um, however it is just a very tiny little feed yes. for them so <laughs> to bulk it out a little bit we can use look at using a little bit of chaff yeah and um, we've got a product called light chaff mm -hmm. okay so Katie how much chaff would you recommend me feeding? Um, so it doesn't actually matter too much how much yeah. you actually feed because this product is so low in calories. Yes. Um, we basically just want to give them enough to kind of bulk it out, give yeah. them a bit more of a meal. So yes. I'd probably just do, you know, sort of a couple of handfuls. Sorry, I'm spilling it on you. It's okay, it's um, handy. Um, and you can mix it, mix it all in, um, and that looks a bit more of a meal for yes. them than just the balancer by itself. Um, so how many days would you recommend me sort of gradually feeding this into their diet that they have already? Because obviously we don't want to feed this to them straight right now. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's really important to change over gradually yeah. um, so that their guts and their digestive system gets used to the change in yes. feed. Um, we'd normally suggest over about 10 to 14 days. Okay. It's quite a good, a good um, introduction time. So just yes. starting off with a handful to begin with and then building up nice and slowly from yeah. there up to the full amounts that we've mm -hmm. discussed today. Okay. Um, the other thing it's really important uh, to remember, um, obviously these products are very low in calories, yes. but of course the, the feed that your horse is having in the, the largest quantities is actually the hay. Yes. Um, so should we go and maybe have a little look at your hay and see? Yeah, sort of I'll what take you to having? the feed room. Yeah, great, okay. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to the feed room. Here is our hay. Okay, great. And uh, when do you normally feed your horses the hay? Uh, so the horses come in at night in the winter, so they get a hay net um, 
every night when I put them in. Okay, great. So that's really, really good um, to make sure they're getting plenty of fibre, yes. to keep their digestive systems moving, keep yeah. them nice and healthy. Um, however, it is really important to remember when feeding the good doer yes. that <laughs> hay does contribute quite a lot in yeah. the of calories. So what you can look at doing to help with this is look at soaking your hay. Okay. Okay, so you can do that for building up to about 9 to 12 hours. Oh wow, Soak that is all, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a quite a long time. definitely soak it a lot longer yeah. than I am. So. Um, this will really help to, to reduce the sugar content yeah. um, within the hay. It is worth noting it will also reduce some of your nutrients. Yes. So that's where the balancer comes in. Oh, again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that will top up on the yeah. vitamins and minerals, make Got sure they're, they're still getting what they need. Yeah. Um, I would also suggest you increase your soak time really slowly. Yes. So rather than just doing straight 12 yeah. hours, start <laughs> off a um, very short period of time yes. and build up slowly to give them time to get used to, used to it. Um, if you have a steamer available, yep. you can also look at steaming your hay okay, yep. okay, after yeah, soaking. I can do that. So this will just help to improve the hygienic quality of the hay afterwards. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So thank you so much for all the advice as oh, well. You're welcome. Like, I feel like I've learned so much in today's videos, sort of learning about just my horses in general and about feeding as well. I just had like no clue kind of <laughs> before. Oh, no. So um, where can people find you? Um, probably the best thing to do is to get in touch with Baileys either through um, through email or yep. through the telephone or on Facebook. Um, it's a free of charge service. We don't don't charge anything for it. We do have feed advisors that are based all around the country. Oh, wow! So depending on where people are based, there'll be somebody um, that will be able to help them and, and offer this service. Oh, brilliant! Okay. So I can leave you guys some links in the description below as well. All right, everybody, if you go on to www.baileyshorsefeeds.co.uk, you can go onto their website if you click on feed advice and then scroll down to body condition scoring. They have so much information on here. So you guys can actually body condition score your own horses or horses that you ride. So let me know in the comments below the horse's name and what their body condition scoring is. So thank you so much, Katie, again for coming over. And thank you so much to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.